we say Mijas has everything, it has everything. We're Probably Lost, and welcome to our YouTube channel. In December of 2021, we sold almost all of our belongings and made the exciting and terrifying choice of diving into full-time travel. After a week in Madrid, we took the train to the Spanish coastal city of Malaga. We've spent the last few days exploring southern Spain, and we came across this beautiful town called Mijas, near where we're staying in Benal Medina. Mijas is a beautiful village overlooking the Costa del Sol and probably our favorite town in the region. This is a must stop if you're ever near Malaga or Marbella. We hope you enjoy. Today we're in Mijas, which is one of the most beautiful towns I've ever seen. And they have these cute little blue flower pots everywhere. It's a little windy today. It's like 40 mile an hour winds right now. We're also on the top of a mountain, so it kind of makes sense. We're making the most of it though. We're going to try and bring some content today of what to see and what to do in Mijas. yourself in Mijas and you want to take that Instagram picture, Cali Murrows is the place that you need to go. Southern Spain is known for all of its white stone houses and its white stone villages. Everything that we've seen, everything that we've read has said that Mijas is the most beautiful and I, I gotta agree man, it is stunning. We've been down here staying in Ben Al Medina for about a week now and we've come to Mijas four times. It's that pretty. In case you wanna know what happens anytime we try and look cute, this try and take a nice little selfie. To do my hair. I normally wear a hat about, what, 80% of the time? And the one day I choose not to, this it is, is bonkers. We found a restaurant. We were gonna sit outside, but it's super blustery. Felt like our food is gonna get blown away. We're all over us. <laughs> We're all over us. We'll show you what we get. I'm not really totally sure. We might go with tapas. I tried to start the camera so that when the server arrived with our food, it would look organic, natural, and he went to another table. So uh, we'll run this back and do it again. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's no Got it that time. <laughs> All right, what is it? This is fried cranberry cheese and a berry reduction. All right, my turn to try this fried cheese. I love it tastes like cheese. No, it doesn't taste like cheese at all. Meatballs in an almond sauce? It's good. I just love this. I can't believe this is fried cheese. Not a second thought said that's cheese. So that's not actually cheese? No. I think it's eggplant. Was this your roundabout way of getting me to eat vegetables? No. <laughs> The reason we've not been ordering water is because it's like two euros for a bottle of water or you can get a glass of wine for a euro 75. It makes the most sense just to get the wine. Now I think we're gonna go walk around the town. The lighting's a lot better as even though my face is now completely dark. I'm learning to just go with the ironic moments of you know we've got good lighting and you can't see my face. We made a terrible decision eating pasta before walking around this town. The hills, the steps, and the pasta. A little bit struggling right now. <laughs> we figured what better way to stem off tiredness and drowsiness 
then to add a little chocolate in our sugar. lives. A little sugar. So we ended up getting some chocolate on top, which is good. Yeah, lots of chocolate. Ooh, scared me to death. Did we take your spot? Did we invade your home? We're buds. Maybe he'll be our tour guide. Yeah, I know. <laughs> If you ever come to me, just you gotta go to Plaza de Toros. It's where they used to do the bullfighting. It's three euros a person to get in, but I think it's worth it. If you're looking for a good sunset spot, this place closes around 6.30 and we watched sunset here the other night and it is gorgeous, even if you just catch the first half. It's probably the best sunset I've ever seen. What I also love about this place is they play very classic Spanish music while you're here and it's just so relaxing. And looking out amongst the different houses and mountains and just sensory overload. Not all of it's classic Spanish because I'm pretty sure they were playing an instrumental of a Harry Styles song about five minutes ago. <laughs> so all instrumental, very vibey music. How about that? So I take it back. Because now that I'm listening, it's definitely like some some hits. The Harry Styles song was Ever Since New York. Ever since, however that song goes. An instrumental slow with some Spanish twang. That's what it was. It's very vibey in here Harry Styles. This is the sunset spot I was talking about. Yeah. I mean, look at that, dude. Yeah, the sunset up here was just nuts. This is the overlook. And there's like a bunch of little lookouts over here all around. So like this is probably the furthest one out this way. But then there's some going down that go all the way around this little mountain. You just don't have to be worried about an an obstructed view. I also love looking through this little valley of all the different little roads that are winding throughout. It's just, it's so cool. Every time I think the wind is gone, I get a nice little, it's not going anywhere, but it just fades out for a moment. And then it whips right back and reminds us that it's right here. It's like hurricane style <laughs> winds, it's crazy. One thing that we feel like we probably should address is if you ever come here, you'll see a huge line of donkeys. A subject of controversy here as to whether or not the donkey rides should be legal or if they should be illegal. Supposedly, uh, they're not treated super well. So we just wanted to let you know that that is an option here and a lot of people will partake. As far as getting here, if you have a car, you can drive in the city. There is parking throughout and there's actually a parking garage that is a euro for the entire day. So we recommend parking there. However, we don't recommend driving through the town if you can avoid it. The roads are very, very narrow and there's a lot of restaurants that have tables and chairs outside. So it's not recommended to drive through the city, but you can do it if you're looking for parking or if you're like us and get lost. <laughs> there's also a bus if you don't have a car that comes up to the city. It's 10 euros to get up to Mijas and then 10 euros back down. We're trying to film a goodbye here. We're wrapping up our afternoon in Mijas. I would say there's a handful of things to do and just keep you entertained for an afternoon. There is no shortage of beautiful scenery and beautiful sights to go see. And beautiful cats too. Cats <laughs> yeah. everywhere. We're really happy with the last day where we spin it. Um, next time you see us, we'll be in Sevilla. Yeah. Seville. Might do a food tour. Might do all of like the top things to do in Seville in one day, like a little challenge kind of thing. This is how we're gonna sign off. One of the best parts about Mijas is there's a gym, a public gym, a free gym, right here on the Overlook. So if you're really wanting to work on your steering, there's a machine for you. 
if you want to practice sailing a boat, they got it. If you want to pull your hamstring, you can. And if you want to pump yourself up, it rises me up. <laughs> I didn't expect that one. <laughs> <laughs>